Groundwire here today with a product that I have been particularly so anxious to unbox. This is the Cooler Master Storm True 5.1 surround sound headset. We're going to go ahead and look at the box and get this done as quickly as possible so I can get this thing on my head. If the cameraman wants to zoom in, we will see Cooler Master Storm Cyrus True 5.1 surround sound headset pretty much advertised on the front of the box. We see in the box visually the what we'll get to later is the uh, controller slash USB sound card for it and the headsets themselves. Let's go over to the side of the box here and see if cameraman can get a good picture here. We have four speakers in each ear cup. Yes, that is four speakers. That's how we get that true 5.1 surround sound. Two different sets ear pads included. That is noise canceling and open cell foam for a more environmental listening experience. It's also very well vented over the uh, leathery type noise canceling sets. We have the tactical mixing console which is also that USB sound card that we'll get to in a minute. Let's take a look at the specifications here. Headphones. Transducer principle dynamically closed. Ear coupling circumoral. True 5.1 surround sound. Driver meaning the front R and C we see here on the box. That's front, rear, and center channel. All right, both, all three of those are 30 millimeter drivers. The subwoofer is 40 millimeters. Very nice to have. Frequency response, 10 hertz, an astonishing 10 hertz. We don't see that very often in headsets, to 20,000 hertz. Impedance, front, rear, and center channels is at 32 ohms. The subwoofer is at a 16 ohm rating. Sensitivity of 105 decibels. Distortion, less than 1%. Microphone pickup pattern is unidirectional, and I happen to know this is a noise canceling microphone as well. Frequency response is from 100 to 10,000 hertz, fairly decent for a head for a uh, microphone. Impedance at 2.2k ohms. Sensitivity, I'm not sure how to pronounce these numbers, I'm not sure exactly what they're referring to as sensitivity, but it says here negative 46 decibels plus 3 decibels. On the back of the box, we see, what do we see here? We see Cyrus proudly advertising their product introduction. Built for gaming enthusiasts, the CM Storm Cyrus 5.1 surround sound gaming headphones, or excuse me, headset creates an immersive gaming experience with high fidelity soundscapes and intensified bass. Very nice to have that intensified bass. We also see Cyrus produces precise and immaculate sound through its four discrete channels of front, rear, center, and sub, delivering accurate real-time 360-degree audio that is fully adjustable through its tactical mixing console, of which we spoke of earlier, which is also the uh, USB sound card. In addition, Cyrus is coupled with a retractable microphone with background noise cancellation that enables crystal clear conversations with teammates and enemy combatants. On the front of the box, if cameraman wants to zoom in, we also saw something down here, whether or not this really means anything to anybody. Uh, Red Dot Design Award, winner in 2011. Now, I'm not sure who Red Dot is, but if they have something to do with audio, they obviously felt a reason that Cooler Master deserved that reward. And let's see what else they have to say for themselves. Uh, features, I'll just go ahead and read these. On the back of the box is another little section. Um, True 5.1 surround sound, we already read that on the fly. Rear, center, and front speaker control for maximum sound customization. We've already heard that. Interchangeable ear cups with breathable audio and noise canceling. Microphone with LED indicator. This is a very nice feature to have. Um, dual gold-plated USB connectors for improved signal quality. There's debate as to whether the dual, excuse me, the gold plating really makes a difference, but it is a nice feature to have. 
And that pretty much covers the outside of the box. So we're going to go ahead and unbox this thing. Isn't that what we've been waiting for? We uh, picked these up a while ago, and like I said, they've been sitting on our shelves for a few days, so we've been very anxious to uh, get these unboxed. So hopefully this unboxing will help you to decide whether or not these headsets are right for you. So let's finish this unboxing here. Let's see how they like to package their material. And let's pull this thing out here, if that's how that works out. Huh. I don't see the interchangeable ear uh, ear cups here. Oh, you know what? There's an accessory box. Where else would the cord be kept? So that is what we see here. Let's get rid of that. Let's see how they want to do this. Be careful not to cut any cords here. I've done it before. Oh, wow. You know what? They make this very interesting. How they do this. Quite interesting. Okay, well apparently Cooler Master likes to keep their stuff very uh, concealed, you might say. Um, we literally had to tear into the box and cut all these seams in order to get everything out because the way they had this designed. It was totally uh, not necessarily negative, but wow. Anyways, we've got the headset here now. Here we have our interchangeable ear pads. These are the uh, leather type feel to them for the uh, noise cancelling effect. Here's what we have in the packaging. CM Storm Cyrus True 5.1 Surround Sound Gaming Headset is a quick start guide. So let's open that up. True on the fly rear center control, interchangeable ear cuffs, basically advertising. Here's a few more specifications. It says channel 5.1, we know that. Frequency 10 to 20,000, we know that. Impedience, we know sensitivity drivers turn to principal. Okay, that is pretty much system requirements. Windows 7, Windows XP, Windows Vista. That's pretty self-explanatory. Um, then everything else is in a foreign language. So, that pretty much takes care of that. Then we have application and driver updates can be found on the product page under downloads and facts at cmstorm.com. That is pretty interesting for Cooler Master to say that because usually they'll give you a useless and pointless um, disc with all the drivers on it. So for Cooler Master to go out of their way and say just download the latest from our website, that's nice to have. Now if you don't have internet then you've got a problem. And that pretty much ends with the packaging. Now to look at the headset and I noticed them something immediately. They say that they have the gold, excuse me, gold plated USB connectors and though that is true that is not just it. You also have gold-plated 3.5 millimeter connectors. That's very nice to have. Everything is gold-plated. You've got everything here gold-plated. So, very nice job, Cooler Master. We also noticed braided cable design. Yes, that is always nice to have. Um, about the only thing that's braided, actually, though, is the uh, cord coming out of the headset itself and the uh, mixing console, but that's fine. 
Now we'll take the headset itself out of the packaging very carefully so I don't break them. Uh, they are very securely fastened with these little wire ties. So you want to undo those and go ahead and yank the headsets out. And you literally have to untwine the cable in order to get it out of the plastic. So, again, interesting. Interesting. Don't we love that sound? Finished. Isn't it nice to have these headsets out? Now, very slick design. We have a texture wise kind of a smooth rubber. It does have a little bit of a grip to it. Um, they seem to be fairly sturdy. Uh, we've got plastic, your plastic sliders, they seem to stay in place pretty well. They don't want to move. Uh, we don't have any number indicators to let you know where the settings are though. That's debatable whether or not you really need them because visually right now you can see that both sides are even. You've got your microphone which is on the left side here. This is flexible as so. And that pretty much covers the headset. Pre-installed is the uh, breathable ear cuffs for the uh, more comfortable design. And we see CM Storm logo on the top of the headset. Then, coming from the headset, we have the uh, non-unpluggable braided cable with their uh, specialized connector of which you connect either the mixing console or if you want to do the analog pass-through, connect that. Now, the analog pass-through seems to require still USB connection for to power the subwoofers and the speakers inside. There also is a logo on the outside which does light up when you have them plugged in. So you need to have a USB connector available and 3.5 millimeter jacks. Covering the 3.5 millimeters, you have your microphone slash, no, just microphone. You have your black for rear channel, your green for the front channels, and the orange for center slash subwoofer. And then we have the mixing console. Again, there's where your headset plugs in. And then you have two USB connectors, one for power and one for data. You have a very slick, very weighted uh, USB sound card here, or slash the, what they like to call it, the mixing console. It is very weighted. It has rubber grips on the, bo on the bottom, so it will stay in place very well. You've got a uh, little bit of a dip, you might call it, in the uh, controls, so it's a very smooth free-moving, free very weighted. Again, this thing is very weighted, so it's a very nice feel. You've got your uh, mute the headsets, mute microphone, and channel select with volume adjustment. You've also got some LED indicators here to let you know the volume level of the channel you have selected. That pretty much does it for the unboxing of the Cooler Master Storm headsets. Thank you for checking out Groundwire123 channel, and we'll catch you later. Forgot to mention something. We have the interchangeable ear pads. Now to change these, um, these pull off. They have a little bit of a, a plastic clip on them. That's what's going to hold these on. However, you cannot just slab these things back on because there's no plastic clip. So you actually have to take that plastic clip. Yes, I'm going to refer to it as a plastic clip. You want to, if the cameraman wants to zoom in just a little bit here, just a little. You have to unwrap the uh, fiber or the, the deals here off of the plastic clip. As you can see, if you can zoom in, you can see that's, that's how you're going to unravel the rest. So that pretty much covers that. And then you take those off, you swap them, you stick these on there, you can see the recess, wrap it around there and then you have the noise canceling option for your headsets. That just about does it. Again, thank you very much for watching. We'll catch you later.